Hello, my name is Cheryl Hoffman, and I'm a nurse at the Dyson Breast Center at Vassar Brothers Medical Center. Today, I'd like to talk to you about colon cancer awareness. Colorectal cancer is the second most common cause of cancer-related death in men and women in the United States. Colorectal cancer can happen to anyone, man or woman, 50 years and older. Normal cells will grow, get old, and die. But with a cancer cell, it just gets bigger and bigger until it outgrows the space it's in and it invades good tissue, damaging those tissues. Colorectal cancer usually begins as a polyp or a growth in the large intestine or the bowel, your rectum or your anus. Colon cancer may have no discernible symptoms at all. However, there are some things that need to be reported to your healthcare provider right away. Bloating or cramping in your stomach, the constant urge to go to the bathroom and have a bowel movement. If your bowel movements are different, they're skinny or they're hard or they're thin, or you feel like you have to go, but you can't. These things all need to be reported to your healthcare provider. If you have blood in your stool when you go to the bathroom, or if it looks just light pink tinted red, call your healthcare provider right away. If you're constantly tired, even after a good night's sleep, if you're losing weight and you're not trying, or you don't know why you're losing weight, call your healthcare provider. It may not be cancer, but it's something that should be discussed and treated. There are risk factors that make you more susceptible to colon cancer. For example, if you had a relative who had cancer, colon cancer, pancreatic cancer, if you have inflammatory bowel disease, you are at higher risk for developing colon cancer. If you have a genetic inherited disease, like FAP, hereditary non-polyposis colorectal cancer, you may be at higher risk. Colorectal cancer can be prevented. It is one of the few cancers that can be caught early and never happens. Get screened. There's many ways to do screenings. Some of them you can do in the privacy of your own home. You ask your provider for a colorectal testing kit. They send it to your house take care of it on your own and you send the, the sample back to the provider or the lab wherever they've told you to send it. And that is the easiest way. You can have a flexible sigmoidoscopy, which only looks at a piece of the colon, but at least it's looked at. Then there's the gold star, five star treatment, colonoscopy. It takes no time at all. It's covered by insurance. New York State CSP provides free colonoscopies for people 40 to 64 years old that are uninsured or have not enough insurance. Getting a colonoscopy can save your life. The doctor can look in, see the polyps, remove the polyps, and they never become cancerous. It's important to remember that at 50 years old, if you have a polyp, it will take 10 years for that polyp to become cancerous. Get it looked at early, get it taken out, and be healthy. Treatment depends on where the cancer is found. Each treatment is personalized and individualized depending on the size, where it's located, and the person. Your treatment provider will see that you receive the proper treatment individualized for your situation. For more information on colorectal cancer and the supports that are available, please see the resources on the slide following this presentation.
Thank you so much for your time.